Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the spirit of October and in Halloween, I wanted to tell you guys another like creepy story today. This story, however, is not a paranormal story. At least I don't think it's a paranormal story. So it's probably going to be a short story too. Back when I first moved to Vegas, probably... I had lived there about a year. I got a job and at this job I had to work like 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. I think. It was like 7 to 4 or 7 to 3 or something like that. Anyway, that meant that my kids had to get themselves up and ready and to school by themselves. The school was like two blocks away. My youngest son was eight and my oldest son was 10. And before anyone says anything about that, I did check in on that and it was completely legal for me to do that. It wasn't illegal to leave a 10 year old home with an eight year old and they weren't home alone that long. Like I said, I had to work like seven to, I think it was seven to three that I worked. Anyway, um, so they would have to set their alarm and wake up at seven to be to school by 8 a.m. And I left the house at like 6.30 a.m. So they weren't home alone that long in the morning. Anyway, during this time, um, when I got home one day from work, cause they were usually home about 30 to 40 minutes by themselves um, after I got home, before I got home, after they got home from school also. So during this time, my youngest son, who was about eight years old, one day he was telling me, that um, that morning when he woke up, he went into my bedroom, like he woke up and went into my bedroom to use my bathroom because my oldest son was using the main bathroom in the hall. And um, first of all, when you walk in, like when you'd walk into my bedroom, like the door was here, you'd walk in and the bed was off on this wall. And then right at the foot of the bed against that wall was um, a computer desk with a desktop. Um, it had like a webcam, you know, not attached to the monitor, not, not built into the monitor, but attached to the top of the monitor. Anyway, the desktop was there. And then back against the same walls, the door was the bathroom door. So when you walk in, you could see the bed and the computer desk. So my son was telling me that he walked into the room and he looked over at the computer desk and the computer, which normally when I wasn't using it, I'd always turn it off. I'd power it off and turn the uh, monitor off so that the monitor was not showing anything at all. He said he looked over at it and there was a man on there, just like on the screen, like, um, like it was a web chat. And he said that the man started talking to him and at this point, I don't remember what he said the man said, but he said this man started talking to him and he totally like freaked out and then didn't even use the bathroom in my room in this. He said that he just left my room really quick and shut the door. And then he told me this. And so when he told me this, when I got home from work, I'm like thinking, yeah, active and active imagination of like an eight year old. But now thinking back, because I've heard like so many like crazy stories of people like tapping into people's computers through their webcams. And recently I've heard of people like catching people spying on them through their webcams and stuff. It kind of makes me think like maybe it wasn't his active imagination that was, um, going on when he told me about this man on the computer that started talking about him because he that's the only time he ever said it was that one time and he said that the man was just looking in the room and then when he walked in he started like talking to him like addressing him directly like he saw my son walk in and so started talking to him so like that's kind of creepy to think that there was someone like looking into my room and I just let it go as an overactive imagination of an eight year old. I guess we'll never know. But anyway, kind of creepy. And that is my creepy story for today. Like I said, not paranormal unless it turned out it was a ghost or something. And that's a whole nother story. But um, creepy, I think, nonetheless. Anyway, that's my story for today. And I will be back later. Um, I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow or the next day, but I'll be back sometime before the end of October with some more stories for you. So I hope that you guys are having a wonderful start to your week and I will talk to you later. Bye.